Special guest, play-by-play -play analysis. Goes by the name of Juan Cal, Crazy Lakes, Arkin. Welcome, sports fans. We're back live here with IOPS, Whitefish, Flyers, Beardies, Blackhawks. Oh, yeah. Join on. Tell your friends. Come aboard. 57 viewers so far here at Cal Crazy Lakes, Arkin at the helm here on IOPS.com. CA. Join us on Facebook and YouTube. Live streaming here at Prince Albert at the Art Hauser. Super Saturday here. Lucas C. Sequasis, number 12 for the Beardies Blackhawks, as well. Longtime captain for the Whitefish Flyers, Kelsey Joseph, to take the draw. Promises to be a good game here, folks. Both of these teams on the B side of the draw. One of them will go home. The other will continue on to Championship Sunday and vying for a spot to call themselves the 2024 Prince Elton Grand Council Rec Champions. Whitefish Flyers down low. Looks like Buddy Morin gets it up through center. There's a quick shot on that, testing out the goalkeeper here. And one of their very own in the net there, second generation goalkeeper, the Beardies Blackhawks. Also, starting goaltender number one, Kobe Clark, here for the Blackhawks. Blackhawks now, deep in their own zone. Ringing out here is number nine. Gabe Gardafi, fitness guru. There's a lot of work on the Beardies Reservation on the First Nation there with the young people working out. In the gym that they got going, has been for a lot of years. Long time Blackhawk, the crappy veterans on the team. Keep an eye on Gabe Gardafi. Paris Cameron Jr., number 18, gets a stick on the puck. His two flyers are with him. Looks like Logan Thomas in the red, number nine. And Kelsey Joseph will go for a chain. Neutral zone. That one's thrown out in front here. Garnet P. Looking. Trying to make a move there on. Looks like Jedner Morin there, number 10 for the Whitefish Flyers. As Beardies keeps the pressure on and throws that puck down low. Tyrone Thomas moves it up the boards. Back into the zone here is the Flyers. Thea Gamble has a shot. That one stopped by LaFon. Chan Anderson Sr. only here to shower Arcan. Well, to be honest here, you know what? To be honest, no shower this morning at the PAN, the accommodations here and host hotel here for the PA Grand Council. No heat in my room. So, yeah, I did bring a towel from the hotel. Stolen. And I'll grab a shower later. It was a rough one. First time ever I've ever been in a room where no heat. They did supply a heater, by the way, but that thing failed as well. So it was a rough one, but needless to say, here we are. They got me a new room at an alternate hotel. I'm happy with that. And here we are with the hockey action. Thank you, Ken, for chiming in. Awful lot of information in that segment. Down low here, Beardies fumbling the puck in their own zone, and Whitefish trying to capitalize on that. Joseph is down low there, along with Thomas. A couple of youngsters on that rookie line. 
These guys play some junior hockey as well. Both of these teams are fighting for a spot to find themselves here on Sunday. Back in the zone are the Whitefish Flyers. The dark horse, so to speak, with the tournament here. A lot of fans from the Big River First Station coming to watch their Flyers take on the Blackhawks. Blackhawks as well here with some fanfare not too far away down the road here. These guys had a great tournament out there. James Smith, always in the hunt here are the Blackhawks. Full benches on both sides of the ice. As we'll have a whistle here outside the zone. Face off, won by the Blackhawks. Dumped in here, now number two for Beardy, bringing it in. Don't have a number for number two, looking. Not on that roster, I'll check the other. That is Blake Thomas. Blake Thomas out there with Marcus Cameron. Long hair. Hair out is Cameron. Fighting behind the net here with two flyers on him. Blake Thomas getting it out. Thomas and Cameron working it down low here. Flyers. Jedner Moore now tries to get that puck up, and now he does. Now they get it out. All the way down, but all the way back is the way it's going to go. Tristan Cameron has a line change. Got some fresh legs coming on here. Looks like Gabe Gardenby. A lot of speed coming off here. Number 61 from the Whitefish Flyers. <laughs> Ethan Bear, formerly of the Muskeg Lake there. Number 61 with a lot of speed and a couple goals in the previous game to get the Whitefish Flyers here. On a loss on a Chudo. We're up. At one point, by three goals, and bit by bit, they clawed their way back to beat the Whitefish Flyers, and now Whitefish is their second game of the day. As that one gets out of the reach of Tyrone Thomas. Thomas now, in his own end, fires it up the boards. Ethan Bear helping out here, and now he's with Basaraba. That one shot to the pads. Beardy's number seven, Corey Gardapi. Garden B now moves the puck up. Big guy. Looks like Harris Cameron Jr. is leading the charge here. Three on three in their own end. And now a couple more flyers coming in to join. Logan Thomas up high, but losing the puck here in front is Harris Cameron Jr. gets hauled down by Ethan Bear, looks like. And number 61, former Muskeg Laker and now Whitefish Flyer. Transferring fans here not long ago and now taking his place. Of course, his mom, Tracy, from Big River. Power play opportunity here for the Beardies Blackhawks as they win that draw. Garden P on the point. Talon Thomas in the corner. He's going to lose that one to him. Logan Thomas, couple of Thomases on both sides. Here, these Blackhawks will retreat. Looks like Lucas, he's a places, has the puck and now moves it up the boards, up to Garnapi. Talent Thomas is going to give chase here, and Watney will play that the length of the ice, but picked up by number 14. Of the Beardies Black Rock. Now a shot on that. That one finds the back of the net is Talon Thomas, number 29, with a howitzer from the point. Shoots, he skiers. What a shot by Talon Thomas. As they're going to start the scoring off here against Whitefish. Back and forth here, pretty still even. But the only difference being. Is the goal by Beardies, by Thomas. 
Beardy's won that draw. Now all the way down we go. Big Randy Cameron is out there. So, this is look at this is going to cover game. Let's see how Power play goal there awarded to Talon Thomas and his line. Lucas Isaquez is getting there for a helper as well. Harris Cameron Jr. Big guy. Big solid team effort on the power play on the penalty by Ethan Bear. Kept it on the point. Number four here for the Whitefish Flyers making some moves there. Now a shot on that. That one's going to be stopped and a save. Byron Morin with the shot, number four for the Whitefish Flyers. A lot of young legs on this Whitefish team. Like I said, the dark horse of the tournament here. These young guys surprise a lot of teams with their youth, but also surprise them with their speed. Thomas throws that one in front. That one knocked down by Dean Gamble. Thomas keeps it in at the line, but now it gets out now. 21 here, the Beardies Blackhawks helping out. Kendall Gardaby keeps it in at the line. Now Talon Thomas in his unit looking for another go-ahead marker. Three shots for Beardies, four shots for Whitefish, evened up on the shots on net. one nothing Beardies, those of you just joining us. And the numbers climbing with 108 people joining online. Talon Thomas at the line. He has Gamble with him. Also has number 19 with him. Gonna find him. Good shot, but no good. That one goes up the boards and all the way down, and that's gonna be icing. Good pace to the start of this game here with 14.07 on the clock. DJ Sizzle in the house, cranking out some music here for the fans. A lot of hockey left here as well. If you're in the vicinity, come stop by the Art House or come check it out. One by Beardies is the face off and now down low and now played out by Joseph over the line. Looking for some room here is number six, Logan Fosno, one of the speedsters here on this Whitefish team. Play some Junior B out in Alberta. Not sure of the team. I was asking some questions earlier about got Logan Thomas out there with Logan Fosno, but both of them playing for that team. They're wearing those red pants adjoining the Lightning Bolts. I try to find out some information on where they are, for any of you viewers at home and family members know, let us know. We try to get the play out of the neutral zone here. Blackhawks fighting from his knees and puts it up now. It's Tristan Cameron on his knees and now back up to his feet. Whitefish with a shot here. Number 43 looks like Lyndon Watney in a soft offering. On the Beardies Blackhawks goalkeeper, Kobe Clark. B side action. One of these teams will after not go home, but they won't be in the tournament no longer. They can stick around for Championship Sunday. But you know, a lot of times when you think of the caliber of teams here on this, basically a preview to one of the most premier tournaments in Saskatchewan. That's going to be the Senators Cup coming up in a couple of months here. This tournament here. You know, a few different rules. You can use an import only for goaltender purposes. Is number four will have a shot on that there. On the point, and he's going to have a line change. As we get Kendall Gardipi back out here. You know, a little preview to the Sats Cup here. Play for your own reserve. For the exception, you can use an import for goaltenders here in this one. Of course, Senators Cup are allowed three imports in that tournament. Prestigious Senators Cup will held each year here right at the Art Hauser. 
Gardafi now makes his way over the line. He's got Cameron with him. There's a shot on it. And that one is also picked up by Whitebridge goalkeeper. Jared LaFond, who makes his home out in Waterhead. Waterhead, also part of the Treaty Six Hockey League. LaFond doing a great job for his club out there, and it shows out here in the Indian Hockey Tournaments. Way out of his goal is now LaFond rolling around, now back and makes a save. A great save there by. LaFond is a, a nice shot there by Corey Garvicky at the point. Cut down the angle, making a stop. Another shot on that. That's going to hit the shit guard, uh, number 18, as uh, Whitefish Flyer. Looks like Noah Basaraba. A few of the Basaraba boys out there. And a father out there as well. Dale, Dale Netmaker is the father, is the Basaraba boys. Little quick toe drag by seeing Gamble as the puck winds the net, but LaFon with a big save, and that one will go towards the corner. Back to the point. For seven, their defenseman, Corey Gardapi, keeps the puck alive and wrap around, and Gardapi will pick it up. He throws it back in the mix and help. Thomas will throw it back towards Gardapi. Gardapi misplaying that. Now an opportunity for the Flyers. That shot on it, and that stung. So, by the Blackhawks goalkeeper, Kobe Clark. All the way down it goes. Back and forth action, up and down the ice. Gettner will put that in the front. Down the neutral zone. It's Logan will fight for it. Logan Thomas with his quink partner, number 24, James Joseph. Other father-son combo out there, double J, James Joseph. Named after his late push-up and son of the captain, Kelsey Joseph. Back around we go in the white free zone. It's Watney will get his stick on that one. Raymond Camp, uh, Cameron making his play around that. Gets that one to the D-man, but he loses control. Back all the way down to the beardy zone. Case is picking up here. It's not a Donald Gamble out there. Now on the boards here, Basaraba throws it across to Watney. Watney puts it up through center, now picked up by the board, Ethan Bear, number 61. Good stick handling by Bear and fans on that shot, but still in control of the puck and still moving his feet, finding some room here in the Blackhawks zone. Goes around, Harris Cameron, Dale Netmaker with a shot. That went on net. Kelsey Joseph was there, but couldn't get the rebound. Harris Cameron, Jr., a shot of his own. That went high above the shoulder of LaPon. All the way around now in a Backhand out, Ethan Barrel pick it up first. Slipping by the D-man, Corey Gardapi. E. Bear now throws that one across. Kelsey Joseph with him. And now Beardy's failing to get it out. Tyrone Thomas knocks the puck down. Thomas now looking around, finding some room here. The Flyers having some opportunities, but no shots fired on net. Kelsey Joseph brings it back. Byron Moore and all through that. And that one's just out of the reach of number 87, Liam Basaraba. Mm -hmm. Ten shots to eight here on the scoreboard again. If you're just joining us, 106 people live here in Prince Albert. IOPS. Bring to play by play of Fierties and Whitefish, the A Grand Councils. 2024 Grand Hockey Tournament, formerly known as the Northern Cup. All the way around now, it's time to play in the White Free Zone. Myron Thomas clears that puck out. Myron Thomas with it again. He's got Byron Warren as a team partner in the neutral zone. Defense throwing that one down low. We got Donald Gamble out there. It's Donald Gamble Sr.
Spark is Cameron out there, number 25. That one intercepted now. Whitefish, number 16, picks it up. Logan Vassaraba. Reed Vassaraba is out there. Liam, Logan, and Noah. Family affair here at Prince Albert for the Whitefish Flyers. They have a line chain. Watney's out there. There's a shot on it. That one easily picked up by the Whitefish goalkeeper, Jared Lafon. Crowd pick it up here in Prince Albert. We get to Saturday night's evening festivities here. Our tournament. If you're in the vicinity, stop by, join in. JJ says, let's go, Hawks. And G Bear Peters says, where is Vassaraba from? Vassaraba family is uh, from in town here. And as I mentioned moments ago, uh, their father plays on the team and he works at the new Jim Nielsen facility. Dale Netmaker, the mother is a Vassaraba. So the net, they're Vassaraba Netmakers, but they use their maiden name of Vassaraba. Talon Thomas now, Whitefish zone. Six foot four, Talon Thomas. Is that one dropped her on a board? Six four, six five, I believe. I'm six three, and I know Talon's about two inches taller, so he's got to be six five and probably six 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 seven on skates. Because Thomas has really picked up his play in the last couple of years here for the senior team, taking the lead role for the Blackhawks. Back around now. Talon Thomas, number 29, digs into the slot here. He's got two partners, wingmen with him. There's a shot on him. That one at the top angle is he had Ian Gamble with him, as well as number 19 also with him. Don't have a number 19 on that roster. I'm just going to have a quick peek here, folks. Here it is. Now that's the Tanner Gardepi. <laughs> Now we have him. He's on there. Just didn't have an upper. All right. Deep in the Blackhawks zone. Shot on that off the face off save by Kobe Clark. Neutral zone. Backhand attempt there for Gabe Gardipi. And Buddy Moore and Jetner stops him, and that one will go out of play. Quite fish on a line change here on the defense will bring in Dale Netmaker and Tyrone Thomas, number 21, red pants. And Dale, number 14, in the blue pants, the defensive pair. And Kelsey Joseph takes the drop. Garden being out. Trying to attack on a shot on Laquan, but loses the handle through traffic. That'll go the length of the ice, and that'll be amazing. Got Jay McKay downstairs doing my thing with the mic as I come up here and give my good buddy Willis Shasby a break and bring you the play-by-play -play as it happens, where it happens here at the Art Hauser. Travis Lytle joining in. Go Flyers. Go. Face off now. Kelsey Joseph. Wins that draw. Tyrone Thomas up on the boards, and now Kelsey gets it out. Fighting against the line here. Beardy and Whitefish. Barnaby again, relentless with his attack. Oh, and that one is stomped by Tyrone Thomas with a stick and safely covered up by LaFont. Keeps that one out of harm's way and keeps the score at one to nothing in favor of Beardy. Lucas Cisaquasis, number 12. Kelsey Joseph, number 12. Doing a face off. Referee backing up faster out, and also number 16. Rebeardies, number 18, rather. Harris Cameron, Jr. All the way down here. No icing call. Guarded with the clock now, throws it through center. Terrace Cameron picks it up, and now Lucas. Lucas in the corner, back to Harris, and that one picked up once again by LaFon. Good 
Matt Northway Chef. Big shout out to one of our lead sponsors here, the PA Grand Council Rec Hockey Tournament, the Car Guy. Always helping out this tournament, the sponsorships and fan appreciation. We get to the last minute to play here in the first period. Fast pace going on this one. He's noticed on these games that have the faster pace and a lot of action that the game really speedily goes by fast. The action goes by fast. Three through one period of play here. One goal. Lucas C. Sequaces. Working around the boards here with 20 seconds left on the clock. As time winds down, we're going to have a neutral ice zone face-off here. Thank you to 126 viewers on our live stream here. Brought to you by way of IOPS on your social media, Facebook and YouTube. That's going to be the end of the first period here. Beardies leads it a score of 1-0 to zero over the Whitefish Flyers. You know, I played for the Whitefish Flyers for a number of years previously. Way back when. And now the only one from that era playing is the captain. Is They seem to be in pretty good spirits down there. Look at down there. And Kelsey Joseph is the one I'm talking about. But back in the day there, uh, you know, we played league for the Whitefish Flyers and Deep Gerard, he's helping us down in the box, has been and does at our tournaments here with the PA Grand Council, as, long, as well as uh, Jason Ahenikiu and uh, another longtime goaltender from Boval, uh, Donovan Gucci in his prime was playing for the Whitefish Flyers long ago. Of course, the Beardies Blackhawks again, uh, you know, these guys... A lot of pedigree, you know, a lot of young people growing up through the Beardies Blackhawks minor hockey program as well. Uh, you know, we've seen uh, all divisions covered by the Blackhawks out there in the James Smith Strong Resilient Tournament uh, only a couple of weeks ago. We're set here for the second period. Looks like Thea Gamble, number 16, is going to take the draw here against the captain, Kelsey Joseph. He bears out there with Talon Thomas, Basaraba, as well as number 19 there for Beardy's Blackhawks, Tanner Gardapi. Thomas now throws that across. Here comes Tanner now, number 19, using some speed, but back pass to nobody but Watney. Ethan Bear now flips that through center. Couldn't be controlled there by Kelsey Joseph. Around we go. Tanner backs up to help out his crew. Talon Thomas throws it back to the D-man. And now Tanner back with it at the blue line. Tian Gamble moves it up to Thomas. Thomas looking and firing through traffic. And he'll hit the skate of the defender. Now is Buddy Morin. He bear now. He shoots and that one right to the glove of Lafon. All right, looks like we're going to have a face-off here. Lucas Sisequesis here for Beardies. Number 24, James Joseph, son of Kelsey Joseph, takes that draw, wins that draw. Now in the neutral zone. Logan Thomas, in his pass goes right to Harris Cameron, and now over the line is Lucas Sisequesis. Backhander attempt there by Gardapi, picked up by Lafon. Face off here in Whitefish zone. Beardy's pressing as the lead in this hockey game. A score one to nil. Now it's tipped back. No looker there by Logan Thomas, ill advised, and picked up by Gardapi. Gardapi will throw that over the line. 
Looks like a lot of hustle happening with the Gardapi boys here for Beardies. More urgency founding right now as Gardapi gets up ended. And now it looks like firing more and on an accidental fall or accidental trip. Accidental as the boys hit gloves there, but at any rate, Byron Warren will go to the box. He'll get tripping, and this will turn into a Beardy's power play. Taking the draw here for the Beardies. Of course, it's going to be number 12. Lucas Cisquesis, he's going to win that. They're going to keep the puck in. Now Ethan Bear. Speedy Ethan Bear, number 61, has somebody with him. Kelsey Joseph tries to go five hole. That one kicked aside there by Kobe Clark. All the way down. Cisquesis now. Patented red and black pants there. Buddy Moore and all over CC Quasis as he'll fall down. Talon Thomas trying to use some body, but being diligent there with Kelsey Joseph not to draw a penalty as they're on the power play. Five on four. Here's Thomas. He misses that one, and LaFon looks at him, gives him a smile as that one had an opportunity to be scored on a power play goal, but couldn't be handled by Talon Thomas. CC Quasis now with some speed. 156 left in the penalty. Sisequasis behind the net. And an opportunity there for Donald Gamble Sr., but that one sails a little bit wide. Talon Thomas keeps his drive alive. Now he's floating through center. Now Gardapi with him. Don Gamble puts it to Talon Thomas right on the tape, but kicked away by Lafon and all the way down the ice. Quick line change on both sides. Netmaker back on the ice, number 14. And Basarava to play it. Noah Basarava, the youngster, but the biggest of the Basarava boys. Beardy still with one. Power play still at one. Ten left on the power play with 20 minutes left in the second period. We go down to the Beardy zone. Another minute left in the penalty. Shots on goal, 18 for Beardies. Shots on goal, 10 for Whitefish. one nothing in favor of Beardies. A lot of shots happening from the Beardies boys. Talon Thomas now sailing up over the blue line, finding some room, and offside is called. Is Tanner Gardapi a little bit offside, picked up by Hot Rod Gallagos, one of our officials out there. Another face-off here will be between James, Joseph, and Theon Gamble. Joseph will win that one, but Beardies will reclaim the puck. Now Gamble. Over the blue line, over the red line. Now back in the zone. There's a shot. That one goes off the skate of Thomas. And behind the net is Gamble will fall. Here we go now. An opportunity for Whitefish. Working it down low. Back in the neutral zone. Talon Thomas will throw it. Penalty will expire. Five on five hockey. New legs coming on here for Beardies. Talon Thomas looking for the puck. He'll shoot that around the net. Gardapi is there. Young line here against a more veteran line. Now here comes the Blackhawks. Beardy's turning it around here. Number 19 finds the puck and brings it up. Tanner Gardapi. 
Trying to check on one of the players here for Beardies. Looks like I'm looking for number two. Number two. Don't have him. Oh, yeah, I do. Blake Thomas. Let's write it down here. Face off here in the Whitefish Flyer zone. Blake Thomas wins that one. Back to the point. Now drop down low. Thomas with the puck behind the net. Trying to find some room. Trying to find his partner, Marcus Cameron. Cameron. Thomas working down low. Ethan Bear comes to help out on the back check. Almost gets it. Now they do. But no, Watney loses his stick. But he has help. Three flyers back, but getting pressed here by the young Beardies boys. Relentless is Marcus Cameron as he steals again, gets it up, and that one just over the shoulder of LaFon. Ethan Bear now up the wing, finding some speed. There's a shot, a blocker save on the other side. Big save there by Kobe Clark as Ethan Bear found some room. And still finding himself working hard here, trying to keep the puck alive, but picked up there by number 21, Kendall Gardapi. Byron Morin now finds some room in the middle. Liam Basaraba tries to play it down low, but that one picked up by Don Gamble and kind of looks like he hit him in the ankle, but he's okay. He's skating better on it. And that one's covered up by the Beardies Blackhawks. 16.07 on the clock here. Beardies Whitefish B side action. JJ says, let's go, camera guy. Ha ha. Falling behind the play. Not sure who that is. Ha ha, they said. Anyways, back to the action. Anywho, anyways, two lines, anyways. Tyrone Thomas. He gets tripped up at the line, and that one's going to be called by the official as Thomas. Clean trip on that play. Looks like Raymond Cameron's going to get it. Raymond Cameron. Ramo, they call him back in dressing room number five. Big Ray. Going to the sin bin, which helps out the Whitefish boys. Power play. Whitefish Flyers. Sisequasis loses that draw. Tyrone Thomas with a shot. That one bang on. That one covered up by Kobe Clark. Corey Garnipi is calling out the youngster here. Don Gamble Jr. is getting the, oh. the gate here. So they bring in Corey. Watney with a shot. Bobby Clark had eyes on it, but that one high and away. Lyndon Watney brought in there by Thomas. Logan Thomas now with a backhand. That one hit the post and out. That one so close to tying up this hockey game. Best attempt so far on a 13th shot there by the Whitefish Flyers on the backhand by Logan Thomas. Puck brought in the zone there by Jedner. Jedner Morin working. Number 10. That one thrown down the ice and will be picked up by LaFon, who will help it out as they try to save some time on the clock here on the power play. Number 24 here, James Joseph bringing it up. Bear now throws that to the line and that one. Disrupted there by Don Gamble Jr. Sees Equasis. Finds some speed on the far side on a shorthanded try. That one picked up by Watney. Watney now bringing in nice and casual like. Has Gardipi with him. Walks around Gardipi, but Gardipi don't quit. Now he gets a stick on it. Now that one will go all the way back to LaFon. <laughs> That one's still handled by Ethan Bear. Gardapi, lead footer, number nine. Beardies giving Whitefish some trouble here on the power kill. 
55 seconds left here for Whitefish. Power play. Kelsey Joseph moves that puck up. Ethan Bear now has been out there for quite some time. He'll lose it to Gardapi. Still doing his thing and finds some room here. Gardapi has Thomas with him. Bad little pass there on the turnaround. Now we got Tyrone Thomas. Drops that one for Joseph. Joseph with the backhand finds Tyrone. Keybone Thomas now working in his office here. One of those players is like a smaller version of a Dustin Bufflin as he plays D, but he also plays forward. Rather play D, but his younger years certainly played a lot of forward. Now a stoppage in play here is the penny will expire. And a successful penalty kill. Ramo Cameron saved by the defensive play of the Beardies Blackhawks and team. One nothing here. Beardy's lead over Whitefish. Vinny LaValley. Good evening. Crazy legs from Big Plume Memorial. LaValley sit pretty in old timers. Big Daddy back alley. Vinny LaValley looking for an old timers team. It's not old timers anymore, Vinny. It's legends or masters. So that's how long you've been out of the game. At any rate, I heard you're doing some push ups. So that's good to hear. Looking a little heavy there, Christmas time. Back to the action here. CC Quasis will bring it back as they try to set up only by one goal. We've seen today in many games that the one two goal uh, play does not work. Many come from behind victories. One against Whitefish Flyers here that put them down on the B side. Harris Cameron now over the line. Ian Gamble is with them. Back to Sisequasis, who brings it back to Gamble, almost ended up going off the skate of Thea. Now they put it on LaFont. More shots in favor of Beardies at the moment. Vinny LaValle, a lot of humor here online. I told him, you could call me crazy legs or call me legs, but don't call me crazy, which he thought was reverse psychology. Now always calls me crazy. That one played down by Basaraba. That one right on net. And that one easily handled by Clark. All the way down the other way. Watney now with it. Backhand up and intercepted there by Lucas Sisequasis. Harris Cameron now trying to make a move. Cameron looking, firing, looking high on LaFont here. That's Harris Cameron, Jr., big guy. Back to the point. Now that one's played on LaFon and whistled down. 10.07 on the clock. one nothing Beardies. Yeah, long ago, you know, when you're thinking about old timers, it was, you know, 35 plus would be old timers. Sometimes they would let one 30-year-old, things like that. But now things have changed. And a lot of times when you're 30 years old, you can see like a lot of these developmental players, they're still in their prime. And so you, sometimes you'll see a uh, Legends tournament. It'll be 40-plus, maybe with a 35-year-old. And then the Masters, of course, you're looking at uh, at least 40-plus, but usually... 45 plus is James. Joseph finds the back of the net. The rookie line. Logan Thomas. Basaraba. Lyndon Watney on the D point. The big team effort there as Jedner Morin gets involved. Big time goal for the Whitefish Flower Flyers. As uh, I had just mentioned, one nothing. Not uh, a score that you can sit on your heels. 1-1 one, one hockey game. 0-0, zero, zero, really. Talon Thomas now as they win the draw. The young line there and getting a helper there, Logan Fosno. Line number two, the rookie line, Reagan Thomas, Logan Fosno, and the goal scorer, Double J, James 
Joseph ties this hockey game up. Kelsey Joseph taking the draw here. Gains guard to pee. Tyrone Thomas throws that one down low. That one's okay. That one's safe. Corey Gardepi plays it out. Susiquesis gets it out of the zone. Neutral zone. Dale Netmaker. Kelsey Joseph throws it back in the beardy zone. Corey moves the puck up. Beardy's on the attack, and that one touched by Harris Cameron Jr. as he chases down the puck. 1 1 game here. No room for air. Susuquasis moving in. Guard be with him. Susuquasis looking for tight angle shot there on Lafon. Nothing doing. And that one will go up and out of bounds. Sounding good there. Thank you, Dale Johnstone, my good friend and relative of Attack and Coop. Now out in the Battleford area, thanks for joining on here. As we have 134 strong joining online here on IOPS. Powering Indigenous success on the job board and bringing you the live stream. Any event, anytime, any place, anywhere. Shot on net, that goes up and over. And there goes a lucky souvenir for a fan. A little bit of Ernie Munoz playing in by DJ Sizzle. Puck drop here. Looks like Teddy Bear is going to take it there. For 22 here, Tyrell Bear taking the draw. He'll lose that one, and the Beardies Blackhawks will come out. That puck dropped back to the line. Ian Gamble throws it across. There's a shot on it by Thomas and again picked up by LaFont. Early goal here by Beardies and a lot of shots on that with 25 opposed to Whitefish 16 with six minutes left here in the final period. Fast-paced game, but I have to say picking up a lot of momentum is the goaltender of the Whitefish Flyers, and that's Jared LaFont. Waterhead. Import here on the goalkeeper's side. There's a shot. That one sails to the right side of the net. And out. And over the line. And that'll be offside. <laughs> one, one, 133. People joining online at 519 on the clock. Neutral zone happening here. Talon Thomas has been one of the Blackhawks to keep an eye on. He's had a lot of shots on that. That one will sail to the right side and wide. Talon Thomas with that big wing span. That big frame of his. And in really good condition here in the last number of tournaments here for the Blackhawks. Keep an eye on him here. Dying minutes here with five minutes left. I've seen it before here. Overtime at shootouts today. Very close, very good goaltending happening. Slogan tries to take that one out, gets upended there by the crafty veteran Donald Gamble, senior and junior out there. Now Logan looking for an opportunity. He's going to have a line change, and Ethan Bear is going to be out there on a four. Talon Thomas walks in on a quick move, but then Jedner, a little hooking action, I believe, and yeah, he's going to get the gate for hooking late. This game is not a good idea to go into the penalty box. Jetner, Buddy Moore, and number 10. Didn't want to go. Now he's going. Kills off a couple seconds. Face off. Whitefish zone. Power play. Blackhawks. See Sequasis with the puck. Throws it down low. Boys are battling in front. Couple of face washes. Dale, that maker, was he battling with? Harris Cameron Jr., nobody gets hurt. Dale, that maker, smiling. There's a shot on the other side. Ethan Bear. Penalty will last for another two minutes, 20 seconds. 3.26 on the clock. 
action-packed game here at 150 viewers here live streaming. Paris Cameron now. Lucas sees Equasis working with him, keeps it in at the blue line. The goal scorer, James Joseph, fails to get them stick on that puck, and that one kept in. Harris Cameron Jr. Looks like he's sequaces now. Back to Harris Cameron. That pass, a no looker, hits behind Cameron. Back around the board. Start P now. Leads that behind the net. Harris Cameron is there's a shot point. Blake and stopped is Tanner Gardapi. Does Lafon make that stop look easy? Very cold out there, right? You are Derek Rabbitskin. Leon McGilvery liking the tunes put forward by DJ Sizzle. The best man, 12, looking for the draw there. We can ask uh, our producers to try get that to you ASAP. You're supposed to scan the QR code is what I'm being told, but back to the action with 2 minutes 26 on the clock and a 126 on the penalty. Here's a shot by number 14, Donald Gamble. That one is bang on, but LaFont kicks it aside. Bad puck now. Put back on LaFon and again kicked aside by LaFon. Now a loose puck here. Now it finally gets out. Five on four has been for the last couple of minutes. And now one minute left. Two minutes on the clock. One one tie game. LaFon can keep that puck out for the next two minutes. We will go to the three on three sudden death. If it's still tied, then we'll go to the shootout settle this hockey game again this is b-side action one of these teams will be eliminated from the tournament charities in full control here on the power play on the penalty by jedner morin 45 seconds left in the penalty that'll go to the length of the ice that'll give him a little breathing room kelsey joseph out there with watney and basaraba and ethan bear alan thomas with the puck Gamble is out there with him. Cisa Quasis is out there. And Tanner Gardapi. A lot of traffic in front of the net here. That goes to the point. Cisa Quasis throws it across. Over to number 21 there for Kendall Gardapi. He'll lose the puck. And now all the way down. Ethan Bear was there. Bear in the corner. Digs it out. Bear working. Trying to keep the puck safe, but again, that wingspan by Thomas intercepted. Now Thomas coming in by himself. Here's a shot. That one stopping a rebound and score number 21. Kendall Gardapi. Penalty had expired for only five seconds when Gardapi strikes on the rebound put forth by Talon Thomas. 54.1 on the clock. Team and Bear, my good buddy from the Big River, chiming in. And a timeout has been called by the Whitefish Flyers as they have under a minute to fight for their tournament lives. Unfortunate turnover there at the line. But again, we talked about the reach of Talon Thomas as he knocks that puck out in the neutral zone. These are the types of plays here. You don't want to be on the power kill at any time. But dying minutes in a 1-1 hockey game, you got to make sure you clear that puck out. Kind of a lazy play as Thomas taps that puck down, walks in, beats a defenseman, has an opportunity on LaFond who made the original save. And on the rebound, number 21 all over it, Kendall Gardapi with the hero symbol here for the Beardies Blackhawks. 32 shots on net for Beardy, 17 on Whitefish, 2-1 hockey game, 54.1 left in the final period. Face off, Joseph, Cian Gamble. Gamble wins it. Tanner Gardapi out there has been for a long time with 5% body fat on this kid. Now Tanner Gardapi brings it up. That 5% has got to be his earlobes as he goes to the backhand, drops it in front. 
Doesn't get an opportunity, but now Talon Thomas with another rebound in front, and he gets a big-time goal. This one got out of hand pretty quick in the dying moments here. JJ says, good job, Blackhawks. Kendall Gardepi tickles the time with a twisted wrister. Go, Blackhawks. Told you, Lear Dreamer said they're going to blow it down. She put that out there and that energy. Came to fruition here with 30 seconds left on the clock. We're going to wrap things up here on this one as the Beardies Blackhawks will continue on their journey here at the Art Hauser as part of the Prince Albert Grand Council. Recreation Hockey Tournament as it winds down. We'd like to thank the Whitefish Flyers for their participation here in the 2024 edition. Prince Albert Grand Council's Recreational Hockey Championship, formerly known as the Northern Cup. As Gardapi walks in once again. That'll be the horn. We're going to turn things back upstairs to our producer, Candice and Nathan. Hi, hi. Tinny Gay, Merci Cho, Merci Buku. And for those who don't understand the language, thank you. Crazy legs.